PC Phil here for the Dragon Bloggers, and here I'm showcasing the Spotcam PT1 weatherproof pan and tilt surveillance camera. Here's the retail box and packaging. Here's some tech specs on it. It records in 2K resolution, has an IR LED in it. This has human tracking. It has free cloud recording feature. It will connect to 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi networks. It can be powered with Ethernet. It is IP65 rated weatherproof. It has infrared and white dual lights. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Here's everything that comes in the package. First of all, we have a sticker you can put on a door or window to show people you're being protected by the spot cam. Here's some important notices from spot cam setup on how to set everything up. There's a mounting template so you know where to put the holes in the wall. We have a weatherproofing kit here for the ethernet cable. We have some wall mounting screws, power adapter with a standard two prong plug, quick start guide to guide you along the way. Very simple instructions to read here to set you up wherever you need surveillance. And we have the camera itself. It's a very nice design. It has two very long antennas to pick up the Wi-Fi network. It has the night vision in the bottom here. It has a cover to reveal the SD card slot and a reset button in case you need to start over and setting it up. This has two different ways to power it. You can either power it via Ethernet with a power over Ethernet injector, or you can use the included power adapter and plug into this port here. This protective cover keeps the connector dry. So if you use the network cable, you don't need this part. This will be another option to power it. The only thing you'll need to include if you need to use it with power over Ethernet is your own Ethernet cable, preferably a weatherproof shielded one. I have one here and just wanted to show you how to connect it to the adapter with the weatherproofing kit here. Put in this screw on the first part here. There's a little grommet to wrap around the wire, like so. There's a washer here that goes onto the Connector on this end, simply slide that over there, like this. Run the cable through this adapter here. Plug in your cable into the port. Screw this part on here nice and tight. Take the rubber grommet, make sure it's pushed all the way into here. And take the outer screw here. Push that on, tighten that up real snug. So now you know your cable's nice and dry. It'll stay nice and weatherproofed. There's also a indicator light to show you if it has power and data is being transferred through it. But let's get this working and see how well. Here, I'll quickly go over the SpotCam app. As you see, it's installed on this mobile device. If I can scroll down, I'll get detect notifications on the top when there has motion been detected. You can swipe away with that. I go into the SpotCam app itself. It shows me my live view. I can see what I'm looking at here. You can turn on the scheduling, turn it on and off, turn on and off the uh, detection of motion can turn on and off the camera itself. We'll go into settings. It gives you the serial number, your first software version. You can name the camera. You can turn it on and off. You can enable or disable HD video, change your image quality to high, medium, and low. You can turn on night vision, turn it off, or leave it on auto. There's a spotlight that you can turn on and off, either at night or day, or always on or always off. There's also a strobe option you can enable. You can enable the 180 degree video rotation. You can turn your alerts on and off depending on how you want your alerts to come in through the phone or through an email address. You can specify when to set them if you don't want them sent all the time. Set the email account settings, your siren settings. You can do just motion or just an audio or a human and check your volume on the siren settings and how long you want it to, how many seconds you want that to play as well. Put it to sleep. There's wake up alerts. The scheduling you can set. You can set your microphone volume and your speaker volume. You set your time zone so you know where it's located in case you have many other cameras to manage. There's the cloud service and there's also the micro SD card you can use to save the recordings locally. The reboot camera down below in case you're having a problem with it. Start with a reboot. You can click on live view. It'll bring up all the events that has, it has recorded. You can change, change the sound settings. You can take a snapshot picture if you want. Do a time search in case you need to look for a different time lapse of when something might have occurred. You can do an instant replay option. Go into more settings here. You can share this camera with family and friends or other coworkers if they need access to it. There's a visual search. And there's also my file. So when you do record a certain section of the film, you can save that in the my file section. And you can also make a film from scratch on there. Also, you can control the camera at any given moment with the toggle switch down here. You can go up and down. You can set some preset hotspots in case you want it to 
concentrate on one section only where you want things to be looked at at a given moment. And then you can recenter it back at the home button. There's another setting in here with the human tracking. You can set your sensitivity on how there's a patrol option so it can scan the whole area. There's also an auto pan option for it to sweep back and forth. You do a full screen option if you want it to look closer. View option in case you have more cameras in your system, you can add them to your layout as well. Go back to the main view here. So this camera system has a lot of options, a lot of features. Here's a sample video of the spot cam recording me. I'm going to enable human tracking. So as I turn that on, I'll go ahead and turn that back off now. And now it's just not track, track me anymore. Now that I've turned that option off, so if I move, it'll stay in the same position. So it's good. Press the talk option. You can hear myself talking. Can you hear myself? Sounds pretty good. 